Alright guys, so this is going to be a quick video, so we got the spoilers from the Dragon Ball Super manga shooter number 64 and it is titled Galactic Patrol Son Goku. And guys, before I begin, I just want to say thank you to Dragon Ball Hype on Twitter for posting this and translating it. I really appreciate it, so thank you so much for that. Anyways guys, let's get started. So as the Galactic Patrol ship flies through space, one of the Galactic Patrolmen suddenly feels as if he has lost something important. Back on Earth, Jaco is confused about why Miros disappeared and asks Goku for Miros' identity and suddenly he sees that Goku clench his fist. And then Jaco asks Goku if he is alright and Goku says that he learned another important lesson from Miros which is that he's not just fighting for himself. Miros and Whis are watching from far away. Whis comments that this is the point from where Goku will show if he can fully control Ultra Instinct. Goku says to Jaco that this fight he got saved by Vegeta, Dende, and then even Miro sacrificed his own life. But the difference is, they didn't do it for his sake, but they did it for this universe. Goku clears his head and asks Jaco why he joined the Galactic Patrol. Jaco replies, he joined because he wanted to protect the peace in the galaxy, and because the uniform looks cool. Goku says Miro said the same thing too. He says that right now he's a fellow galactic patrolman like Jaco who is trying to protect the universe from Moro. Moro suddenly flies above. He's pissed because Miros just beat him with some unknown technique. Goku tells Jaco to fall back. Moro lands and asks where Miros went. Goku says that he's gone and right now Goku is the only one who can beat Moro. Moro says that Goku is still saying the same thing as before. Goku replies that this time it is different because he has just inherited Miros' will. And then guys after that Goku powers up. And so guys that is all we have for the Dragon Ball Super Manga Shooter number 64. Spoilers. So this is basically it. This is the final step for Goku to truly master Ultra Instinct. And if he could do this he will be unstoppable. Just like Miros said. Himoro won't be able to beat him. And right now the only way for Goku to truly awaken the pure Ultra Instinct is by controlling his emotions that is going through him right now. If he can't, then it's all over. Moro will win. And with that, he won't be able to protect the universe that Miros loves so much and he sacrificed his life for. See so guys, to awaken Super Saiyan, it requires rage. Immense amounts of rage. But Ultra Instinct is much different, as it was said by Miros. Ultra Instinct, to awaken it, you have to stay extremely calm in the face of a giant shock to your emotions. No matter what is happening, just somehow you just have to get a hold of yourself and control everything that is going through you. All the emotions, all the rage, and just everything. Right now Goku cannot let the emotions of Miros' sacrifice get to him. He has to get a hold of himself and just control everything that is going through him. And that is exactly what Miros wanted as well. Before Miros got erased, Goku was wondering why his Ultra Instinct wasn't working. And then Miros said that the training of Ultra Instinct worked. His Ultra Instinct is fine, but something has to trigger it. Something has to awaken the pure mastered Ultra Instinct. And for that to happen, Goku has to control his emotions. And now with Miros sacrificing his own life for Goku, this is it. This right here is Goku's final test of emotions. And as it was said by Whis, this is the point from where Goku will show if he can fully control the pure Ultra Instinct. Anyways guys, that's about it. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you guys did enjoy this video, give it a huge thumbs up. And if you guys are brand new to this channel, be subscribed for more videos like this. Anyways guys, once again, thank you all so much for watching. And have a blessed day my friends.